Hey guys, Jessie Blue here, right back at you with another video. Okay, so in my previous video, the one I did before this, I was demonstrating how you put in your booklets, how it all works, how um, you can put up to six booklets in your Majori Traveler's Notebook. Um, I did seven, didn't work very well, but you know, I was demonstrating to see what you guys can potentially put in there. I did mention in that last video that I was going to show you my setup for what I actually use my Midori for. And what I use it for is pretty much what the title implies. It's a traveler's notebook for me. Now, um, all Midori traveler's notebooks have one band and it originates from the back. And it comes with this metal clasp and a bookmark. I'm going to show you the little embellishments that I added to it, the things I made for it, what is in here. And I did say in my previous video that I don't like to stuff this, but I actually did stuff it, which is kind of funny. Um, so I lied to you guys. Unintentionally, but I, I lied. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with my little embellishments. Um, I originally had some like... Um, like charms on here but I felt like that was kind of annoying because I always had to fix it and this pretty much is going to be the thing that I take on the airplane with me to hold my passport to hold my boarding pass and also my notebook to journal in so it's like a passport wallet boarding pass document holder slash journal <laughs> on the tin clasp I have this charm, these two charms, that I actually got from an Etsy seller. She sells a travel collection. I think it comes in a pack of 10 charms. They're all travel related. There's a suitcase, a bicycle, oh no, 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 not a bicycle, a scooter, um, this passport. I liked these two the most, so it's actually a little passport and the plane. It doesn't come with these jump rings, so I had to add those, you know, make make it my own. So it's hanging off this, the bottom part of the elastic on the tin clasp. So that's my little setup right there. Um, I, I made this little dangly. It has a suitcase with some stickers that say different um, places, like Tokyo and New York. And I have this digital camera because I am a photographer slash painter slash drawer, whatever. <laughs> so, and plus when you think of um, traveling, you think of tourists and taking a whole bunch of pictures because that's what I usually do. It took like, I went to Colombia a few years back and I took over a thousand photos, I think, with a dinky little camera. But now I have like my DSLR. So, yeah, I got these beads. And these charms at a local shop where I live so and they don't have an online store so you wouldn't be able to pick these exact things up but I'm sure if you go to a Hobby Lobby a Michaels or any type of bead store they might carry something similar to this <clears throat> okay so we're gonna open it up and I'm gonna show you my little setup okay so I don't have anything on this front like cover I do want to put some pockets here maybe a little pocket to hold my ID um, for when I'm on getting on and off the plane I have my ID right there if I need to show them any identification I also want to get a sticker pocket here to hold maybe the boarding my boarding pass um, and whatnot now this right here is actually a leather boulder that I got off Etsy. It, it continues back here. It has these slip pockets and it also has these little credit card pockets which I actually like. So the seller on Etsy, is, the store is called Yellow Birch Outfitters. This is their card and I'll post a link to this, um, this guy's shop in the description below. I really like this leather folder because it will hold a boarding pass like so a piece of paper boarding pass and uh, that's why I 
pretty much got it. And it also holds a lot of, you know, little brochures or paper that you pick up along the way when you're traveling. So I like that. That's awesome. And I have this zip, um, zip insert that is Midori brand. I, I like it because it will hold your passport. This is my passport. And it's great because you keep it protected in there, you know? If you, God forbid, if you drop water on your notebook, it won't damage your passport because it is protected by this plastic zipper. So this is how I intend to use it to hold my passport. This next insert is a homemade insert. I bought the paper at Michael's. It actually came in a big pack of, it's a big collection, a scrapbook collection. It's called World Traveler. Um, it's got a lot of vintage paper, travel paper, and I, I really like vintage stuff, so I had to buy this. And this is what I made this out of. It's actually two pieces of scrapbook paper put together um, with adhesive spray. And so now it's double-sided. And I just kind of constructed pockets, secretarial pockets to hold junk, <laughs> whatever I want to collect while I'm traveling. And it's, you know, cute, it says discover, you are here. So yeah, travel themed. That's that's why I made that. In this pocket, I do have a printout. I use Google Images to print out the world map. And this is just for me when I'm journaling. I can mark where I am. So, But, you know, I'd mark, if I was in Colombia, I'd mark a little, put a little star there. Been to Mexico, put a star there. I hope to, for hopefully, go to Europe and this area. I haven't really been here. But, so, yeah, I keep that in here. This next insert I also made from a file folder and I kind of copied the craft folder that Midori sells. So that's that's pretty much what this is. This is pretty much a paper version of what this leather um, insert is. And one thing that I didn't mention is this is actually my original <laughs> Traveler's journal. It's very thick it's hard it's bulky but the one thing I did love about it was all these pockets like it's loaded with pockets so and I use them a lot I just put a lot of junk in there from when I went traveling so I thought I need pockets I need a lot of pockets so I made these and I made this um, and I, I wrapped it with that scrapbook paper I really like this scrapbook paper mostly because it says LAX Los Angeles. I'm from Los Angeles, so I'm like, yay! It's representing me or where I live. Um, these little pockets I put on here with double-sided tape. Um, they hold, they they expand, and they hold, you know, your little ticket stubs or whatever. Um, these I actually got off of this notebook. It was, there was one here and there were two in the back. These were really easy to take off because they were also held in by double-sided tape. Um, so I just ripped those off, stuck them here with double-sided tape, and they work out pretty well actually. They'll hold a lot of junk. <laughs> the next insert that I have is the card holder. It's Midori brand and this, inten my intention is to use it to hold your little ticket stubs and you know any little thing that you pick up along the way while you're traveling. The next one is the actual journal book. This is a cut down Piccadilly that was included in my Jornelli Fish Traveler's Notebook. She was so kind to include that in there and I really like the Piccadillys because they do have a lot more pages than the regular Maduri, Maduri um, inserts. So I wrapped it with that scrap of paper that I have, world map, to, you know, be in the spirit of the theme. The theme is traveling, so I covered it, and um, Piccadilly's do come with 
the back pocket. So there's even more pockets here for me to put more junk in. It's not really junk. It's just like memorabilia, if you will. And this is the back part of of the pocket, I mean the card holder. This is the back part of the insert that I made holding brochures. So it does hold brochures. Brochures are pretty long. It'll hold your map if you're touring and you need the map at, on hand. It holds that. Um, another pocket back here to hold more stuff. This is the back of that really pretty papered one. It could also hold a boarding pass. And this is the back of the zipper pocket. Okay. Um, these just come with slip pockets in the back and the front. And I put the money that I got from Columbia when I went back here. Um, you could put anything in there. And this is the back part of that leather folder. I forgot to mention, it does come with a pen loop, if that wasn't obvious. It comes with a pen loop, which is great, because I don't really like those Midori clips, uh, pen clips, that you, I mean, you could put it on the leather, you could put it on an insert. I see it mostly on the leather, and I don't like the idea of damaging the leather with something like that, like the clip. I'd rather damage it by holding it, by daily use, you know? So I, I like this little pen loop that this folder comes with. And the back, I do have a sticker pocket. It's Midori brand as well. Um, I actually got this at a Japanese bookstore that is in LA. It's so close to me and I was like, yes, they sell Midori stuff. like. I didn't think any place around here would sell something Midori, you know? So I was really excited I got this there. It has a slit to hold cards or ticket stubs or anything like that. And it, it can hold your boarding pass too. The one thing that I don't like about the Midori, <laughs> I know that we're talking about the setup of my notebook, but one thing that I don't really like is how the knot or like how this elastic is coming from the middle because if you do have a boarding pass in there, watch I'll show you. If you do have a boarding pass in there, it's gonna bump up right there where the where the knot is, especially with these papery ones. Um or anything. It just kind of it's it's gonna damage whatever you have in there. If you know if you have it closed, it bumps up. I don't really like the fact that the hole for the elastics here because this knot does get in the way. Um, so I'm actually growing to love the fact that my Jonelli Fish Traveler's Notebook, the elastics originate from the spine, so they're not in the way of whatever you're going to put back here, you know, the knot. Um, that's just, I don't know, that's just one one uh, con that I don't like about the Midori, another con would be that you can't really stuff it as much and if you do, you get spillage. Um, but you know, whatever. This is going to be for traveling, so I don't need to stuff it any more than it is. It is pretty thick though. Gosh. I think I'm going to take some stuff out. I don't know if I'm going to need... I mean, of course, when I'm like traveling, I can always take things out and like place them in my suitcase if it's just not working out for me so it's not like the end of the world <laughs> it's better to come prepared than not prepared so that's why I made all these inserts you know I might use them I might not use them if um, if any of you are interested in in how I made these inserts these uh, folders there are other people on YouTube that demonstrate this I'm pretty sure uh, but if you want me to I'd be more than happy to show you how I made this one or even how I made this one I do need to change the design of this one a little bit because it was a little tough to make but you know if you guys are interested just let me know in the comments below um, I will post a link to any of the stores that I mentioned in the video um, so you guys could take advantage of you know, buying from their store. And, um, I think that's it for my little setup here. 
If you guys liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, okay? If you want to stick around for more videos, uh, please subscribe. I plan on doing a lot more Midori related, Traveler's Notebook related, or art related because I do, you know, draw. So if you guys want to stick around for that, you totally should. Alright, so this concludes this video. Thanks everyone. Bye!